All right, y'all. We're going to judge retro world. Today, we're going to take a look at the Megabat 800 milliamp Game Boy Advance SP battery from Stone Age Gamer, y'all. All right. If you remember the video I did last week, I was talking trash about this battery saying how it sucked because it went dead after 18 months of use that I paid, you know, $17 worth it <laughs> back in the day. Now it's for $11.29, something like that, $11.99. So it actually went down in price. But uh, yeah, I want to do an update and a retraction. The battery is not trash. It was my game system. It was the Game Boy Advance SP itself. It turned out that even with the cheap replacement battery that I got from Amazon, it was still doing the same issue. And so I was like, oh my God, I talked all this trash about it on this video. And it was still doing the same thing. I should have did a full test before I did all that. So it's all good. I'm here to, you know, give some uh, love to the battery that it deserves and to Stone Age Gaming for making such a great product. But yeah, I went and got a new charger from Amazon. Came with one of those USB types. And, and when I put this in, the little orange light on the side wouldn't even come on at all. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, what's going on? I thought it was maybe a capacitor or whatever. But in the last two years that I've had this Game Boy Advance SP, I've re never really played it enough to actually um, test the battery to its full limit. So recently that I just got more games for it that I've been testing it out and playing more, it, it went ahead and just died on me, but it was in turn, it was a short inside the system. So yeah, so as you can see, I had to take the bottom piece off of my Game Boy Advance SP and that's it right here. And you're probably wondering when, what happened, you know? And what it was was, when I originally did this mod, the screws actually stripped a little bit when I was installing them. And I said, oh, well, that's okay. I'll never have to take it apart again because, you know, I did the mod and, and the mod is awesome. But it turns out that, yeah, here it is two years later and I had to open it back up. And it bit me in my butt because I had to literally drill them out. So that's what I did over here. I had got a drill and I started drilling out the plastic bottom and then I drilled out the heads of the screws themselves. So when I finally got that back off, I had to go with some needle nose and finish the job and pull the rest of the screw out from the rest of the, you know, the, the, the shell over here. So everything was safe. Everything was good. Yes, it was a little scary drilling into it, but all in all, it ended up, uh, working because i took it apart there's a wire right here for the um ips screen mod so that you can adjust the brightness you have to solder right here and i moved that around and it must have had a short because immediately after doing that i put the battery back in and boom it started charging properly like it was supposed to so it was just a short it was a mount function of my own um, you know, modding. And so in no way was it Stone Age Gamer's uh, battery. It's, it's working awesome. So I went ahead and fully charged it. It took two and a half hours to fully charge it, almost three hours. It's a trip how this game has this warning. And it fully charged, and then I left it on... The dimmest setting, which is right now, this is the dimmest setting for the IPS screen. And I just let the game play just like this. Or like my Mohawk. <laughs> yeah, that's my huge style. And, and I let it play on mute. So it was just sitting there running like this. And it ran for seven and a half hours with that one first full charge. So the... Mad bad 800 milliamp battery from Stone Age Gamer is a good battery. And after two years of neglect from a short inside my Game Boy Advance SP, which was my own fault, um, actually could have damaged the battery, but it didn't. The battery is still going strong. I actually returned the Amazon battery and got my money back because I, uh, I was like, well, shoot, I don't need a battery. And this one's still good. So, yeah, so now when I plug it up, it's a super bright orange you know light like this green light is so 
so yeah sorry stone age uh gamer uh, i've gotten good at other products from you and i love them all and so yeah it kind of sucked that i had to tear the bottom out but it was totally worth it and this is just my game boy advance sp i don't care that it doesn't match i love it i play it and as you can see i just got this new game fire emblem it was free with a game boy micro that i just recently got let me grab that oh sorry yeah i recently just bought this one this week it came in uh three days ago and so yeah i'm gonna do a video on that next yeah this is too cool game boy macro micro but yeah that's for another video all right y'all so go out there get you one of those batteries i think they have even a bigger one now is a 900 milliamp battery from uh, stone age gamer go ahead and get their batteries they're a good battery it was just my fault so sorry about that but okay until next time peace and much love from joe's retro world